and I tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy No, I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what's up and what it do? It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano I want to thank everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV We back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack just like that. Mm. I hope it feel good to you too. Cause it damn sure feel good to me. I got mm. my sexy ass, gorgeous, beautiful wife. It's your girl Jazzy K in the building. Mm-hmm. Well, what you drinking? Hey, cheers. Actually, I don't want to talk about what I'm drinking. I want to talk about what I'm wearing. What you wearing today? You look at that. Elite the Joy. Shout out to Elite the Joy. Let me, let me, let me just, my favorite that? comedian of all, of all yes, time, right there. Richard Pryor, isn't that dope? Eels. Like a pound oh. or a key. Ah. <sighs> Now we can now we can talk. Now we can talk about what we're drinking. Yeah. We are drinking margaritas. Mm-hmm. Cheers to everybody. Thank you. Know what I'm you. Yeah, ding ching ching, all <laughs> that. So today I got a I'm excited about this interview. I have been watching this young lady's glow up and blow up for about a year and a half now. She mm-hmm. didn't even know. I ain't even know. I ain't, I ain't even know. Ain't even know. Uh-huh. But what got me, because y'all know. My background. About a month or so ago, I noticed a song. I'm a real bad Rouge baby. I said, hey, she, yeah. she got me. She got, <laughs> she done got me again. Yeah. I said, oh my God, she hit that Myrtle B. Myrtle. Titanic is in the house. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. This is one of the most talented young ladies I have seen in a long time. Man. Not scared to be a little silly. Not scared to be serious. Yes. And I'm just. And can uh, spit. And can spit her ass off. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Loogie. You know what okay. I'm about? Thank you. So, how long you been rapping? Since 2017. Oh, I can't tell. Since it seems like you've been rapping a long, long, long Well, time. is that seriously rapping since 2017? No, nah, that's just, just when you started. I mean, of course, everybody had a little moments where mm-hmm. they just get mm-hmm. on the beat and just be playing around. Right, you know right, what I'm yeah. saying? But as far as like even considering being a rapper, 2017. That's when it was. Yeah. One of my homeboys, he was like a brother to me. His name Jerry. God rest the soul. He got killed. And mm-hmm. um, he used to rap. He was hard as a bitch. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yes. And he was so dedicated to it. You know what I'm saying? So when he got killed, like I always could write. In school, write stories, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. a good storyteller. So I was like, shit, I'm going to put on a beat and try to rap. Yeah. Were you a, port- a poet? I was about to say a poetry writer, should I say? I wouldn't even say that. It's just like, I don't know. You're writing stories like that. Creative dang. writing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give That's me a topic it. and I make you cry, laugh. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Just That's a talent. Up. Yeah. It That's is. a serious talent. So baby, come on down through there. Not everybody got it. So we all heard we heard you from Baton Rouge. Is that where you were born and raised? I'm born and raised. They're regular. Hey. Yeah. Real now, Baton Rouge. What, what high school you went to down there? See, I ain't go to high school. I was a badass child. So I had dropped out and got my GED. Cause really my mama was sick, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I got expelled in middle school. And when I got expelled, like the principal at the uh at Valley Park is alternative school. She was like, We're gonna have to put a stage in here for you because you on, you ain't gonna go back to no regular school. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You gonna have to graduate from here. And she like my mama, she got to getting sicker, so mm. I dropped out, you know, to take care of her. And That's when I got my GED. I'm sorry. Now, your mom passed, right? Yeah, in twenty nineteen. I'm sorry to hear that. I know that hurt. Yeah, and I lost a son in fifteen and my oldest brother. Well, not my oldest brother, he my second to oldest brother. I got two big brothers on my mama's side. He got killed in February. I've been watching your story. Yeah. I mean, from you going, going to Hawaii, yeah. I've been watching your story. <laughs> and I, I told my wife, I said, this girl got something to talk about, right? Mm-hmm. I've been, I I started to call you a long time ago. Yeah. And then I, but one of the reasons I didn't is because I thought you was in Baton Rouge. I and was. Then, mm-hmm. I just moved out here. And then when I found that out, mm-hmm. oh, I said, oh, I got to get her. Mm-hmm. And you do plates. And I do hair. <laughs> Hustler. 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 Oh. Hustler. Hmm. Say less. Hustler. That's Hustle right. woman. You know I love that. I had to go through that struggle just to get that bread out of time for the butter. Hey. Hustle. Oh, don't make Hustle. us hold up. Don't make don't us make do a tear down right quick. Hey. Yeah. She ain't. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. She, she ain't scared. I ain't never scared. Oh, I know. That's hey. why I love it. You know what I do love, though? 
What you love? Your energy. Yeah. And being that, I don't know if you know this, we're at the Texas table. Huh? This is a Texas shaped table. Okay. Yeah. But you're in Louisiana. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Right? You're at home. We all are about positive energy yeah. because we want you to blow up for your career, your life, anything, any endeavor that you're trying to accomplish. Yeah. I want all the success. We want all the success in the world for you. You remember the Apollo? Mm-hmm. You remember when they used to walk out and rub that? That's our Apollo stump it's right there. Time. I know you might be a Saints fan. I don't know nothing about no sports, but just because I'm from Louisiana. You're supposed to represent. Period. Fruit to, I'm going to say Who that. Who that? About don't say, say it. it's not fruity. Fruity. Lord, you you get it close. You get close. I, I you don't want to know fruity. I'm he, so country, he, <laughs> you from Texas? Yeah, so from Texas. Yeah, I'm, okay. Fluidly. Yeah. Wood grain I'm from, I'm from Texas, Oak Cliff, Texas, to be exact. Mm. Mm. Fluidly, and I am formally trained in vocabulary, but I mm. choose not to. Yeah, because I choose to be well. Girl, I went to Skyline. That means absolutely nothing to me. Um, practice makes perfect. Skyline was a fashion show. What were you learning there? Let me tell you something. And I don't mean that to all the Raiders out there. I'm talking about him. He was there for a fashion show. I what, what I mean, but listen to these words. You, you, you. I made my way through that, though. But you tell, every, you tell everybody you went to Skyline and can't even say fluidly. That's okay. I don't try to say stuff right sometimes. Sometimes I say it because it sounds good. <laughs> That's what out. everybody say when they fucking up. Yeah, but once it's... <laughs> I didn't try to do it. <laughs> I meant to do that. So let's okay. go through... No, so was mom... Were you being raised by mom only or was dad in your life as well? No, so that's that's crazy too. Like my life is like a fucking movie. So like... My mama, like, as far as I can remember, she had a boyfriend named Nat, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And I always looked at him as, like, my daddy, you know what I'm yes. saying? Because my biological daddy, he wasn't never really in my life, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, um, yeah, that's who raised me. His birthday was today, the 20th. 27th. 27th, mm-hmm. yeah, he made 85 yesterday. Hey! Um, my birthday, baby! Yeah, he made 85 yesterday. That's a blessing. Yeah. And it was just like, just growing up, it was me, my mama, and my two brothers, but my oldest brother, he had to move out, you know, because yeah. he got married and stuff like that. But it was just me, my mama, and my brother. Um, and of course, Nate, but like, when him and my mama broke up, he just always was still, you know what I'm saying, by my side. A real brother. Yeah. And then last month, my biological daddy died. How long um, did you know your biological dad? Like, Probably since I was about 12. Did you have any type of relationship with him? Not really. No. You know what I'm saying? I call him sometimes. Sometimes he'll answer. He yep. bought me some wood one time. Bought me a phone. Bought me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. Just did, you know what I'm saying? Like The reason I ask, because, you know, me being a man, mm-hmm. I often wonder what goes through men's minds when they have a, I can't have a baby. And not be a part of my baby's life. Well, and then you it's know, women that do it too. But I'm talking about nah, yeah, I, but look. but yeah. yeah but you, it was yeah, it was because right you know I was an outside child. Like my mama was married, he was married. You know what I'm saying? They were yes. supposed to be fucking around type of time. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I feel you. that's so, what it was. Yeah, on. man, he made a choice. Yeah. Mm. But damn, that's not the baby's fault. It ain't never the baby's fault. I know. And I I, I grew up. You know what I'm saying? Hurt. And I grew up, you know what I'm saying, with a hatred in my heart. But God was like, nah, you can't be like this. So I forgave him. And I still, you know what I'm saying, I love him like he was in my life my whole life. That's real. Because I hear people like that. That's big of you. Yeah, that is big of you. Because I hear both sides of the fence. You know, I hear people fuck him for life. You know what I'm saying? And And I I used to feel like that. But then it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That hurt me to my core. You know what I'm saying? That's a big part of why I was how I was. You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, wondering. Why my daddy don't love me? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, why my daddy don't want to be in my life? That yes. was a big part of my, you know what I'm saying, trouble, trouble, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. past. So, and like I say, just me, like, I'm in this space right now that lost so many people close to me to where, like. I'm you look just, at life different when you. When you yeah, and I'm fight. just trying to, I'm trying to get as close to God as possible. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want God to not accept me in his kingdom because mm-hmm. I didn't forgive. You know That's what I'm real. saying? Cause that's I do shit that I know God like. Mm-hmm. You what know the hell what? you doing? Like, yeah. yeah, you know you what I'm saying. And if I want my father to forgive me, then I got to forgive. You know that's what I'm real. So 
Y'all hear this? Because forgiveness is for you. Not yeah. it's not really for that other person. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, that that really lightens the heart. Yeah. I hold one grudge in my life, and I I probably need to get up off of it. You know what I'm saying? But what? What's the grudge? I don't want to talk about it. And then I see, do. that's kind of how I am with my baby daddy, because my baby daddy is so bullshit. Like it was like I hate this bitch, but then I'm like. I can't hate them. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, people are who they are. So what people do, like, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? This is a star. Mm-hmm. If you like hearts, you can't get mad because this is a star. Yeah. This is a star. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. You love hearts. That's what you love. Mm-hmm. But you got to recognize this as a star and know that it's going to be a star. And a star going to be a star. Let me ask you a question. It ain't going to be nothing else. Since you say you, you did mm-hmm. meet him and you spent a little time around him, mm-hmm. do you see any of your mannerisms that you may have gotten from him, you say, damn, that's why I act like that. Uh, like, My mama I- always told me, you mean <laughs> just like your daddy, you know what I'm okay. saying? Like, I know that come from him. And then just at the funeral, just listening to people talk about him, they was like, he was big on music. He played instruments and stuff, you know what yeah, I'm saying? And yeah. I never knew that until, you know what I'm saying, the that's funeral wild. type shit. Now, yeah. how did that feel, though? Like, coming up, if, if she would say, um, you mean just like your daddy, then you hadn't Really been around him. Wait, say that again. How'd that make you feel? Yeah. With her saying that and you really hadn't really met been him around to, him. to see him. Till you were like 12. So how how would make, oh, wait, I'm, I'm going to slow How did it make you feel when you're, if your mom would say, um, you mean oh, just it's, like it's your daddy? it's kind of like, I guess whatever, I don't know them people, I'm not mean like them. Mm-hmm. What are you yeah. talking yeah. about? <laughs> what are you talking about? And, but then, just, and then, you know, sometimes you hear stuff for so long mm-hmm. that it become like cliche-ish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? She always say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She always say that. Yeah. But now, nah, I, I understand her. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just, and like the way they was talking about him, saying like, you know what I'm saying? That he was the type of person that people like wanted to be around. Like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yes. He didn't take no shit. He was straightforward, but he was just always that one person like you like, I like being around this Already. motherfucker. Good a likable person. Good yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I love Louisiana. Excuse me. You I love Texas. Hell yeah, I love Louisiana. But it seems like the only people from Louisiana that we have attracted to interview have been from Baton Rouge. For real? Yes. And so I have a special place in my heart for Baton Rouge. I almost went to jail in Baton Rouge at Southern University with a pocket full of weed. For real? Yes. That was going to bring you right up the street to the pass. Shh. <laughs> I tell you what, we was on, uh, uh, I was on tour with UGK. Mm-hmm. And we were on like a homecoming tour. And we were going all over the country. Then all of a sudden they call us and say, hey, Southern want y'all to come through and perform at halftime. Yeah. I mean, at for homecoming. And so when we get there, they pull us in this lo- in this room and they say, it's got to be a clean show. Look at this UGK. Pocket I ain't full of stones. even trying to hear that bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and us being young, crazy folks, we got out there, Pepsi, bitch, so what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I had weed in my pocket. I'm talking about, about a half a zip. Damn. Yeah, it was. They called us all in the back. They patted us down, put that. I was like, ah. Oh. The promoter say this. Because it was kids in the audience. You know what I'm saying? We didn't think about it. We, we, we knew it, but we was like, that. We... At least it was a pocket full of weed and not stones. <laughs> oh, fentanyl. Yeah. <laughs> if I'd have had a pocket full of stones, I'd have been an addict. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A crackhead. Gotta... Not I mean, necessarily. I... Well, I'm just saying, if I'm at a rap concert, and you just walk around with rocks, with rocks in my pocket. <laughs> you could have been. I'm not serving that been those no rap around concert. you. I'm not serving that no rap concert. Yeah, well, you I... using, huh? Yeah, nigga. I'm a user and abuser. Nah, for real. So tell me about this. Um, through your eyes. Mm-hmm. Explain Baton Rouge. Mm. Explain it? Or like, what was it like it. growing up there? Yeah, growing up. It, you, you, when you, people ask me that, it's crazy because it's. It's, it's nothing I could put into words. It's like, you got to be from Baton Rouge to know and understand Baton Rouge. Like, I could tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Baton Rouge is Baton Rouge. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't even, like, for one, like, coming to Texas, you know what I'm saying? Because I used to always be back and forth, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. even not even been to Houston and all that, like, 
y'all hoods like it'll have to be some real hood hood to look hood like, like yes you know what i'm saying bed rouge before. is one big hood you know what i'm saying yeah. like how y'all got like everything even the hood the apartment's nice like mm-hmm. in baton rouge the only thing nice is the white people shit by lsu mm. you know what i'm saying perkins road other than that the whole baton rouge is like yeah you know what i'm saying but it's like baton rouge if i had to describe baton rouge it's like training grounds you know what i'm saying like mm. it trains you and prepares you for just other parts of the world because it's it's like i never met nobody i didn't been all around you know what i'm saying yeah. i never met nobody like people from baton rouge i never saw the shit that i saw in baton rouge nowhere else type shit not saying that you know what i'm saying other, yeah mm-hmm. it's just baton rouge is very very is is very unique you un- unique authentic it's very it's yeah Whoa. it's one of a kind you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah. and like i've heard that just moving and going back is like it's like a love hate thing it's like man i'm mm-hmm. ready to go back home and it's like man i miss home oh, like, yeah. you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying mm-hmm. because this like when you just so used to something and you 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 come up you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's just and i'm pretty sure y'all feel like it's nothing like home you know yep. what i'm saying yep. but baton rouge is just i love baton rouge that's like, your roots. Aww. That's your roots. I do. And I'm going to be honest with you. I've been all over Louisiana. Alexandria, of course, Shreveport, Bossier and all that, Monroe, New Orleans, Lake Charles. It ain't nothing like Baton Rouge. Ain't nothing like Baton Rouge. And like a lot of people like that's from New Orleans and stuff, they kind of look down on Baton Rouge because they like the big city type shit. But I don't care what nobody say. I ain't nothing fucking with Baton Rouge. Okay. Like just own no type of you know what I'm saying like no we don't have no tourist attraction shit like people even when I tell people like I'm from Louisiana mm-hmm. I'm from Baton Rouge oh I've been there for my birthday no you have not been to Baton Rouge for your birthday you yep. probably been to New Orleans you know what I'm saying yes, yes. and people confuse the two like oh mm-hmm. yeah you you from where Big Frida from no I'm from where mm-hmm. Boosie from yeah <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying real. you're right yeah. like yeah no yeah like that, that in other words that's not a tourist attraction right I feel you so um Give me, give me some, some pictures. Like what, like what did you see coming up in your neighborhood that 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 shaped Titanic to be the woman that she is today? I don't even think, cause I had to grow up early. The stuff everybody my age was doing, like I didn't really do. Cause you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Like I say, my mom and like. My mom and dad, my mama was 42 when she had, my daddy was 60 something. Like, they old fuck, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so it's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I literally took care of my mom my whole life. So, like, I saw a lot of, like, just, I don't know, the struggle made me, I can say. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just seeing what my mama went through, how she went through it, it just made me feel like, I got to I got to be better for you know what I'm saying yes. mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. like I can't go through this repeated cycle and it's crazy because I see myself going through some of the same shit my mama went through mm. but you know what I'm saying at I'm least still, you're conscious of yeah and I yeah. Ain't, I'm not the type of person how people just don't acknowledge their flaws and all that mm-hmm. like any flaw I have like I damn to know about it and if you tell me about it and I don't know about it I'm gonna bring awareness to it and I'm gonna always make sure I try to you know what that's I'm saying? what's up because that's not easy to do yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to do. So, what has been? I mean, I see you've been doing. You you have any uh, music out on any platforms yet? I got so much music out. So where can they find you? So if you go on Apple Music, Spotify, um, Amazon Music, uh-huh. and it's Titanic T T Y T A N I C. So it's Titanic with a Y and not an I. Okay, get it right. You're hearing me. Thank you. So what has been um one of the most I always ask the females this when they come, what's been one of the struggles being a female artist? I don't think people take me serious. Like they they hear it and they know it. You know what I'm saying? Because when I tell people, because nine out of ten, like a lot of my followers, mm-hmm. I'm a hands-on person. So if I see you and I'm interacting with you and we having at least a fucking one minute conversation, I'm mm-hmm. gonna tell you, oh look, and I'm a rapper from Baton Rouge. You're gonna follow me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I've done that. And there's so many people that have been following me, like one dude from a drive through and fucking church's chicken like years ago. He was like, I remember you pulled in the drive through mm-hmm. and you start rapping to me and I just love you ever since then. You know what oh, I'm saying? That's what's up. Like, and it's just like I'm a real hands-on person. Like I, I want the people to feel me so mm-hmm. it's kind of like 
Like, by me being a female, people expect me to do things that other females did to get that to part. where they trying to go. You that know what part. I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna suck your dick. I'm not finna fuck that you. Part. I'm not finna do all that. You know what I'm saying? And let's talk about that. Yeah. Because I used to rap back in the day. Okay. I used to Thank rap you. back in the day. And I feel kind of the same way. It's like, I'm all for... um the female empowerment, you know, sexual freedom, all that good stuff. But I'm kind of tired of hearing about the eat me, get his money. You know, like I need some of the females to come out with some more. Yeah, talk that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a couple out there. You know what I mean? It's a couple out there that do, but I don't need your whole album to be twerking and blah, blah, blah. You know, I want to hear different stuff yeah. like a twerk song here and there. You know, we all like that. Yeah. But that's all you talk about? A lot of people don't have no versatility. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do you find pressure um, to move in that type of direction? No, because I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You know that what I'm part. saying? Don't get me wrong. If I rap, feel like rapping my sucking dick, then yeah, I'm going to yeah. rap my sucking dick. You know what no, I'm we, saying? We but, heard you. No, we heard you. We heard you rap. You heard me? I saw you speak that. Thank you. That She's hilarious, by the way. Like, y'all need to follow her. Whistle. Y'all need to follow her on all her social. Mm-hmm. She is hilarious. This is one I'm pulling for. <laughs> yes. What made you pull, pick Dallas, Fort Worth area to move? Because to? my brother, he he moved, he stayed. Well, he came down here. I dropped my boy off with a book sack. You hear me? And yeah. to know that we come from nothing, and he came down here with nothing. And like when he got killed, I took over his routes with this company called LSO. Okay. Um. So I took over the routes. So I was like, shit. This is an opportunity for me to move because I always told him that, like, when our mama died, I'm like, shit, whenever mama died, I'm going to move out there with you. And I just never did. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was like, shit. And he's the one that passed this year? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Rest his soul. I'll, I'll pray for you. Anytime. Yeah. that's That was like, like I say, I didn't lost my son, one of my sons. I lost my mama. Um, yeah. Yeah. How old and was your son? Nine months. He was nine months old. Mm. And he had been through so much. He was born with group B strip, and it caused him to have meningitis, oh, and it that, ate his brain up. That group B strip God. is bad. Yeah. Mm. So he had brain surgery, eye surgery. He couldn't hear. He couldn't see. He couldn't hold his head up. He couldn't suck out a body. He had a feeding tube. He had seizing strokes. Mm. Like, he was, you know what I'm saying? And he had passed away. We had went to sleep. And I woke up. I jumped up. I was like... It just felt weird. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm just finna change the diaper while I'm up. Mm. Bought him in my mama's room. I'm like, Mama, baby don't look like he breathing. And she like, you sure? I'm like, yeah. So we bought him in the kitchen. I put him on the table. I started doing chest compressions and stuff. And she called him the ambulance. And they got there. And the whole way to the hospital, like, he flatlined. And mm-hmm. I, he, he was in the hospital from three days old up until, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> like, I know what the numbers look like. Mm-hmm. I know when the line's yes. supposed to move. You know yes. what I'm saying? And for it to be flat, I'm like, so is he dead? And, of course, they couldn't tell me that on the ambulance. So when mm-hmm. we got to the hospital, the doctor was like, well, we're going to try to hit him with some epinephrine to jumpstart his heart. You know what I'm saying? He came back. He was like, Mom, I'm sorry, but there's nothing else we could do. You know what I'm saying? You deal with a lot. Yeah. I'm telling you, I've been, your stories are just, just, the Instagram, mm-hmm. that's how I followed you, you know, on IG. I don't know how I found you. Maybe one of them raps you did. Yeah. It had to be. And like I say, it's crazy with my brother because when I lost my baby, my brother, he was working at the funeral home that my baby mm. services was. And he was like, they let him put his clothes on him for his services and all that. And the only thing I remember from my baby funeral is when we was at the burial, like I was finna jump in the fucking hole. Like, Aww. you know what I'm saying? And he was, he carried me to the car, and he just had my back. You know what I'm saying? Then when our mama died, I got up there because she told me she used to always say, I want you to rap at my funeral. And I'm like. Is this the funeral way? Yes. Or, or, or the, the, the video. video? No, that's my brother's funeral. That's what okay. I thought. Everybody yeah, in the white yeah, and blue. Yeah. yeah. So um, I was rapping at my mama's funeral, and I got choked up. My brother came up there rubbing on my back. You know what I'm saying? Trying to mm-hmm. console me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was there for me. But then, like, when my brother died, it's like, shit. Mm-hmm. So it was you, your brother. That was the only two siblings. I, I got another brother. He paralyzed on one side. He had a stroke. Um, How old is he? He fifty. Mm. He had a stroke. You know what I'm saying? And by us having a big age difference, mm-hmm. like me and my other brother was closer because we was just ten years apart and we okay. just, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So it's like, yeah. 
How do you find the energy to keep going after so much tragedy? I don't find it. God just put it there. There mm. you go. That part. You know? Yes. Because sometimes I wonder. And, and don't get me wrong, I, I didn't had moments like before I moved out here, this was probably like last year around Christmas time. I'm like, I'm so fucked. And I'm transparent. I tell mm-hmm. anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I was so fucked up with it. I remember laying in the bed. I'm like, I'm tired of this shit. And I'm like, if I kill myself, then my baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm all he got. He not going to have nobody. Mm-hmm. So I had fucked up thoughts of shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm finna get all us out here, but then I'm like, God, I don't want to feel like this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I just the like, devil well, you at we your talk about oh, this yeah. all the time on our show. Depression is a real, it's real, real, real thing. Real. It's very real, and especially it's one thing to just have clinical depression, and it's another thing to have situational things going on to pile yeah. on top yeah. of that. So, you're yeah. a strong woman. Yeah. I appreciate that. Tell Absolutely. us about the uh, Hawaii trip. So I bought my best friend to Hawaii for her birthday. Um, cause she bought me to Puerto Rico for my birthday. And I was like, um, this bitch bought me to Puerto Rico when her birthday come. I got to do something. You got a one upper. Yeah, like you got me <laughs> fucked up. What you think is good? <laughs> so uh I asked her, cause she had just started her new job at this little dispensary they got down there. Um well, it's not a dispensary, it's like a medical plant or whatever. Um in Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And I was like, so how would you take off if you went to Hawaii? She was like, bitch, I'd quit this job if we went to Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? And she just thought it was just a question I asked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I remember I sold plates like, because I have times to where I make me some money and then I'd be like, okay, well, I'm going to just take a couple of days off. Like I sold plates that whole week straight to make sure I got our tickets to go yes. to Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? And I sent her our itinerary. She was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What island did y'all go to? Honolulu. Honolulu. Yeah, that's they say that's the party island. Yeah, everything shut down around ten in Miami, in in, the, in Hawaii though. Mm-hmm. They say it's the party island. That's yeah, crazy. and it's very beautiful. You shot a video there. Yeah, so we was about to go. Uh, so our flight coming back, it was late, and they um, they was her and my other friend Risha. They was trying to find a flight to come back sooner. Mm-hmm. So we was kind of trying to buy a little time because they found one and um. I told my best friend, I'm like, bitch, let me let me shoot a little skit or something right quick for we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking about that song. I'm like, all right, so she, I'ma just act like I was with a nigga and he caught me cheating, you know what I'm saying? Cause the song, um, yeah, one more chance, mm-hmm. is basically from a female perspective. How you know what I'm saying? Like males are always be cheating and they want you to forgive them. So I'm like, mm-hmm. shit, I cheated on you. Would you forgive me? You know what I'm saying? That's like, yeah, to the you know what I'm saying? Not the same. I mean, you got to. You do have a wide range of how you view life because of your experiences, and I see it in your music. Yeah. Are we working on a project? So, mm -hmm. I got multiple projects out. Um, and I have. I'm not gonna lie. I got about 500 unreleased songs. I could drop. Project after project, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But my thing is like, like I say, I'm transparent. I don't, I don't have the means to get all my music mixed and mastered how it should be yeah. to where I want to put it out. I don't have a budget behind me to where when I drop this single, I want to drop a visual with it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and when you do that, because like I say, I didn't put out projects, but if you don't have a game plan and have some money behind this plan, mm-hmm. like it's kind of yeah. like, yeah, you got that out, but who cares about it? Nobody see it, but yeah, the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so I'm just working on trying to, you know what I'm saying? Come up with a strategic plan and you know what I'm saying? Push shit to the side to kind of say, okay, well, this what I'm going to do with this and this what I'm going to do with that and That's this really how I'm going to do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Cause like I say, my catalog is stupid. Yeah. You, um, drop some of that shit. Mm-hmm. You already got a fan base. Yeah. From our IG from you spitting freestyle, from you rapping parts of your verses. I mean, you got people in your corner. Yeah. But I feel what you're saying. When you drop, you want it to be right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel you. Well, being here in Dallas, how long has it been? Since you've been in Dallas, Fort Worth there? I moved here. Yeah, I'm going to 
2023, 2022? No, this year. Um, April, May. Okay. Have you hooked up with any of the producers here? No. Do you have a go-to producer that you go to in Baton Rouge that knows your sound? So I had a go-to producer, my homeboy, T. Thomas. You hear me? He died. Girl. That fucked me up so bad because we was like, we was the dream team. I'm talking about he Locked bought in. something. Yeah, and he bought something out of me that like I've never felt in a studio with people. Like He had me so comfortable on the mic. I'm in that bitch singing, and he make me sound like I'm doing my shit. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like It was just a vibe. I didn't feel like, oh, well, I got to do this this way. Or, you know what I'm saying? It was just comfortable. It was like, you know what I'm saying? What happened to him? So he had lupus. He was sick, mm. and then he wound up catching COVID, and he died. Gotta do it. And I was at work at Walmart on my fucking lunch break, you hear me? Mm. And I scrolled on Instagram and his wife made a post. She was like, some, some, something. And I'm like, I know it ain't his birthday. What the fuck going on? Mm -hmm. I just was saying, no, T, no, T. I'm like, it fucked me up. Cause we was like, and we had talks about like the spiritual realm and different, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And yes. he like, sis, it's going to happen for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just got to keep going and keep yeah. doing it. And the shit was so unexpected. Like, yeah, that's, when I found, you know hard. what I'm saying? It like, and it yeah. fucked with me bad because it's like, that was my fucking dog. You know what I'm saying? And it was genuine. I've dealt with so right. many producers and videographers and, you know what I'm saying? That was just wave riders. Like, let mm -hmm. me see. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he not one time tried to ride no wave. He like, you know what I'm saying? Sis, I'm on with you. Let's on. make a wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I know oh, I'm trying to use you for what you got to try to see what I could. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it was just authentic and genuine. And that fucked me up. You it's know what I'm saying? But... I got um. You now when was that? When he died. Twenty one. Mm. You've had a lot, a lot of loss Girl, in just the last yeah. few years. Yes. Then when I was younger, I made a mistake and burnt the house down. Me and my mama was homeless together. Like it's just a whole bunch. My wait, life, wait, like wait, I say, wait. my life is a fucking wait, wait, movie. wait, 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 wait. How would you say young? Not finna just be able to brush over or exit. Girl, I left the house on fire. What God, you doing? Burnt the fucking house up. What was you doing? So I just got out of school. I was hungry. I'm like, I'm going to find me some French fries. <laughs> so my fat ass, I'm like, shit, the grease going to take too long to cook. I put the shit on high, you hear me? Oh, no. So I walked outside because the dog, we had a dog. The dog nose was bleeding. It was just some weird ass shit. So I'm trying to check on the dog. I go back in the house, the fucking pot of grease on fire. Oh, yeah, mm. that grease to do it. What the fuck I'm finna do? Was it a gas stove? No. What the fuck yeah. am I finna do with this pot? You know what I'm saying? Yes. I tried to pick it up, was finna bring it outside, burning my hand. I called my neighbor. I'm telling him it's a pot of grease on the stove. This bitch going there with the hose pipe. Blew the whole fucking kitchen up. You don't put no water on the fucking what? grease. Yes. That's gas on the fire right there. Don't do that. Don't do So that, that happened. Me and my mama, we had tried to start living in the back of the pool house because we had a pool in the backyard. And we'll run an extension car from my neighbor David house to use the electricity, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And boil water on the stove, try to take a bath. Then, like, it just, like I say, my life, like, when you watch Lifetime movies and you mm -hmm. be like, this was a okay. good ass fucking movie. Yes. Like, I feel like if we put my life in a fucking movie sequence, you probably need to, need to watch that. Because, you know, Lifetime movies always be extra. And you be like, nah, not now, not this. That's what your life sounds yeah, like? Yeah, like, I can't believe this. Like, yeah. Write that shit down. The unbelievable. You used to write a book yes. first and then get you that little movie. And see, my mama, when I was one, she had a ruptured aneurysm on her brain. She had to have and a craniotomy. It? Yeah, she had to learn how to walk again, talk again, feed herself again. And she always say how she was in the hospital. And me and her took the same steps at the same time. Oh, we learned wow, how to wow. feed each other, feed ourselves at the same time. And, um... Like, that shit just was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, she had the ruptured aneurysm on her brain, so she'll forget shit. So, my mm -hmm. mama, she'll take composition books, and she'll just mm -hmm. write. Like, even if, like, sitting down, if she wake up 3 in the morning, it's 3 in the morning, such and such day. Thank you, Lord, for another day. I'm having so much pain. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to be here no more, but God giving me the strength. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just going back, reading. Like, I got books way from... Fucking 80s that my mama didn't wrote in. You know what I'm saying? That's and a it's kind of like, 
Like one day I was feeling fucked up and I opened one of the books and it was just like a message. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, that's what's up. Not like to be topic. disrespectful or compare, but it's kind of like a Bible in a sense. Yeah, I was you just thinking that how sometimes yes. you read the Bible and some just yeah. poke out to you and you like, okay, Lord, I hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. Hey, put the so, camera on me. I know, baby. Go ahead, baby. Don't go go ahead. ahead. No, no, you go ahead. Go. I'm not going. I got something to say at the end. Go. I'm finished. I forgot what I was about to say because you cut me off. <laughs> Just the two of us. Hmm. You can. can make it. Oh, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> you can make it. <laughs> we can make it, goddamn. That ain't what you said, though. Hey, check this out. Titanic. Mm-hmm. I'm talking to the super tight TV family. We are co-signing this young lady. I mean, this is Dallas, Fort Worth. This is Texas. We need to get behind her because this is a hell. It's Baton Rouge. We don't matter. She a sister. Y'all need to go yeah. get behind Miss Titanic and check her out for sure. I mean, support. Yeah. Support. I need. I, when I say co-signing, I mean we need the producers. Y'all need to come out the woodwork. Come on now. Y'all need to come out to my Mizarelli. Meezy. What up, Meezy? Come on, Meezy. This lady got so much talent. Come on, A Ray. Come on. I mean, Beto. I mean, Beto. Yes. <laughs> this lady has so much talent, so much energy. And I am pooling and rooting for her to win this hellish thing that we call life. You know what I mean? And she I, will. Oh, yeah, she will. You don't have tests like that without having a test. Oh, tomorrow yes. At the end. Okay. Yes. Period. God didn't bring you this for taking you through all that. You know what they say. Oh, no. Nah. Just to drop you off. And here. they're still current. They going through it. Yes. yes. I just posted on my story, like, this is the most fucked up I've been in my life. Like, as far as just everything. Like, I feel like, you know how people say you got to hit rock bottom? Like, I'm mm-hmm. at rock bottom. And a fucking mm-hmm. boulder just fell on top of me, and I'm trying to push this bitch off. Oh, yeah, we're gonna help you push that hoe. You hear me? Yeah, because I'm I can't, trying to get, I the, can't... get the bitch off that part. Yes. So, who you feeling musically? Mm. People ask me that, and I don't even be knowing what to say because it just depends on my, mu- my mood. But that's fine. Some people don't listen to nobody. You can be like, like, when I'm mad, I like. When I'm, I, I, look, it's, it's, I got several people. Yeah, for every it's hard mood. to say because like I'm all over with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I like old school music. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was raised in the old school. I'm talking mm-hmm. about Sam Cooke, old yeah. like oh, older yeah. than oh. with motherfuckers know about. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, yes. Like so, you know what I'm saying? Old music. Uh. I listen to some new music, you know what I'm saying? But it's I listen to all the same shit all all mm-hmm. the time. You know what I'm saying? It is What about female artists, rappers? You feeling any what female artists? It's what can you it's resonate ladies time. With? Yeah, it is. It's our time. I like all of them, you know what I'm saying? Because they all they all excuse me, they all different, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like even though some of them rap about all of the same things, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All of them have their own the groove style. with them, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So I I just, it's not nobody that I say, oh, I just will absolutely not listen to this bitch. One thing I do like about the female rappers that I'm appreciating is how they 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 ain't, they don't have no problem getting on the song together and making some money together. Let's break bread, let's do it. But see, back I mean, home it's a BR, couple. the females in BR, they don't be with that. They they find everything is a competition. Well, that's why they that's still where goes. they at. Yeah, you now, know what I'm you saying? Got, you got and a, then to this yeah. current day, like, don't get me wrong. When I first jumped off the porch, you know what I'm saying? The shit that they was doing and trying to compare and do all that, that was expected. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I'm fresh meeting this shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But I'm so... I'm so yeah with this shit now and I'm yeah. so well connected with so many people. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's people that motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I never think I know, like, yes. that I know on a first Somebody name basis. Somebody big shirts your shit. Who was that? A female or, uh, who was not too long ago? You was at a concert or something. Oh, Lady of Rage? Yes. Mm. That's a my rough, girl. Rough and stuff. Well, yeah. my Afro Puff. Hey. 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 Yeah, Rage. That's my motherfucking. That's my motherfucking yeah. girl. You hear me? How'd you meet Rage? She started following me on Instagram, and when I went to the page, I'm like, "This baby D." Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is baby D. <laughs> you hear me? I'm like, "What the fuck?" And like, when I first started rapping, I had a whole new page. Instagram took my page. You know what I'm saying? And she still found me on my other page. Like, 
And she, like, when she did that show out here in mm-hmm. Dallas, yes. she hit me up. She was like, you the first person I thought about when I made it to Dallas. You want to come to the show? That's what's up. And I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah. That's so I go to Will Call. She, she got me some VIP bands. Me and my partner went to her, man. She welcomed me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just been That's friends my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And before I left, she was like, let me introduce you to Snoop. You hear me? Mm. That's yeah. love. That is. That's the type of stuff that when God shows you stuff like that, when you're going through your storm, you know it's a reason. Because I just posted, I was like, Titanic Tuesdays to canceled until further notice because I need to get my mental right. Because in my head, it's like I'm getting beat the fuck up by life. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, and just me, the shit that I go through on a daily basis to say, okay, on this Tuesday, I'm going to go sit down, I'm going to record myself, I'm going to mm-hmm. do a video. It's just kind of like, Hold the fuck up. And it's a lot to keep up with, too. Social media. Especially when you're not feeling it. It's like... uh. Yeah. So, right when I posted that, she did that. And when Snoop seen me, like, when I walked in the dressing room with Rage, you know what I'm saying? Into Snoop room. It's like he's standing back here. But when I walk in, of course you observing, you know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying, your surroundings. But the way he looked, like, he knew me. You know what I'm saying? And she, he was talking, taking pictures, doing a little meet and greet shit. And then she walked up. She was like, I want you to meet somebody. Snoop, this Titanic. You know what I'm saying? She hard. He was like, you don't have to tell me that. Anybody you bring around me, I already know what it is. You don't even have to explain that. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? And that man hugged me like he knew what I was going through. Like, And like I say, what I be saying shit, when I compare shit, I don't mean no disrespect. But it was kind of like... Meeting Jesus and he like my child. I know what you're going through. Wow. Keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like the hug. Like I, it might have been Jesus through him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, the yeah, way yeah. he hugged me, it was just like you know what Confirmation. I'm saying. Confirmation. Yeah, and mm. and he kept hugging me. You know how people hug you and they let you go. Like yeah. he hugged me. Like this man don't know me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And she was like, she got a story. And he was like, man, look, you don't got to tell me that. And I was trying to show him my Instagram or something. He was like, Ray, you going to show me who you are? You know what I'm saying? So, like, when shit like that, I don't be trying to force it. Everything in life, I let it happen organically. That don't mean I'm sitting around on my ass like, oh, I'm not going to do this. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. if it's meant for me, then it's going to happen. You know what That's I'm real. saying? That so, part. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, did you tell Snoop about me? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck no. Well, it's for yes. you. It's for you. Yeah. yeah. That's just the like, best way of doing it. Yeah. Though. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Keep it playing all the time. So, uh, I was just wondering. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all say about me? I you got left. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Snoop, can I get a 16? <laughs> no. I'm like, no. You Don't know what I'm saying? Don't ruin the moment. Yeah. And even, uh, uh, Spliff Star Lewis that Busta Rhymes yes you know, I know Spliff is yeah Spliff fuck with me that's my people how you mean Spliff doing Instagram as well Instagram and everybody say the same thing you you something you know what I'm saying you yes. something and if it's motherfuckers that didn't made it from way back in the day and still got some relevancy telling me some shit mm-hmm. like this then it's kind of like just do what you got to do. Like, well, because you know they saying? know all the other bullshit that's out here. It's a lot of bullshit yeah. out here. And people from our era are pushing for artists like you yeah. with substance. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so much. Not saying that it's not needed. You know, we need the ratchetness. We need the street stuff. We need everything. But we need that substance, too. And people really talking about something. People yeah. who have really gone through Some of something. Some we don't need. Right. Well, you know. <laughs> Yeah, some of them. There's some stuff I can do without. Uh, my booty hole, bro. Time, time. Yeah, you said so it now. Me, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> she said her booty hole. Oh. <laughs> Kenny, you missed it. Oh, nah, nah, that, that, I was, I was quoting around. Oh, you said But you know, the bro. visual. <laughs> the visual. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you missed the pause moment. I'm gonna let you live. Do you feel? I'm gonna say. I'm gonna let you live. <laughs> let me make it, bro. It's cool. Uh, Did you um? Said it loud and proud. Any of the mainstream artists like Cardi? I like Cardi B. Nicki. Cardi B. Writer stole my song. But what happened? Cardi what? who? No, I tell that. Wait story. a minute. How long ago? About two. Two years ago. Two. Mm-hmm. You wrote a song, mm-hmm. posted it. Called Up. So I did a challenge, you hear me? It was the Up Challenge. I put the beat on uh thing. I left my uh hook on there. Bitch, it's up. I'm going to do my shit, don't give a fuck. Catch me bouncing around this bitch, finna tell the club up. Bitch, it's up. Yeah, it's stuck. Bitch, it's up. Yeah, it's stuck. Bitch, it's up. Yeah, it's stuck. Bitch, it's up. 
know what I'm saying? And when you when you know music, you know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I first heard Cardi B song, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, that's my shit. It was kind of like a weird feeling when I heard it. Because I'm like, damn, this shit hard. But it was like... I heard it before. What the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? And everybody just got to blowing me up like, man, what the fuck? Shit, they stole your song? And like, when artists like that... They have writers, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't co-wrote a song, you know what I'm saying, that they submitted to be submitted for Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, writers, they they all just, you know what I'm saying? So when I did that Scavengers. challenge, yeah, I had people from New York doing the challenge. I had people from everywhere doing the challenge, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like that's when they started to bite on it, you know what I'm saying? And that was that. Mm. that so was that, that. does that make you... A non Cardi B fan? No, yeah. no fault. She just said. Nah, that's why I say it ain't even no ill feelings towards Cardi B. It's the writers. You know what I'm saying? They get lazy. Yeah. They don't push the pin enough. You know what I'm saying? And like the writers, yeah, fuck them. But Cardi B herself, nah. That's real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm a, I, I like Cardi B. I yeah. like her grind. What you think about Nicki Minaj? She Nicki Minaj. I read it. You you in the uh, what's it called? You a bar? Look at you. I ain't no bar. I don't know about all that, but um, what you think about that situation with a uh, uh, with Offset? You seen mm-hmm. it? Mm-mm. With her with her uh, rapist uh, husband. Mm-mm. Yeah, you know they was waiting outside. I was, I, I'm sorry. They was waiting outside. Offset was uh with with what's the guy that's on uh, what's Twitch? What's in that Kai? Oh yeah. He was on car having a good time. You know what I'm saying? And these dudes out in uh, New York, they outside talking about, we, we looking for you. We outside. Nigga, this nigga ain't nowhere around. And so then it went from, I just can't get over the fact that he is a rapist first because I'm big on women, you know, especially my sisters. You know, I, uh, I've got so many women in my life. I got four daughters and three sisters. So I just can't stand somebody abusing women, my right. sisters. And then she supports him. Yeah. You know, she got online. Well, her brother too. Her brother's a pedophile. Damn. So I just convicted. You ain't been following it, huh? Mm-mm. I heard that. So. Yeah. Mm-mm. I know they're gonna come If I see some shit later, pop up on the fucking shade room about just anybody, I look at it and I, you know what I'm saying? I probably did see something about Something ha- I don't know. I saw them names, you know what I'm yes. saying? But I don't be vested in that shit. That's I don't real. be caring about that shit. Yeah. It ain't you making you no call. money. Oh, fuck no. I'm, I'm calling shots. Yeah. I don't. So if you had a song, he crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get to that. It's a, it's a video, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna explain this little part to you. The dude did this video, posted it threatening offset. Am I right? Am I, am I right? Is it offset? It's threatening offset. And he's on paper. So they arrested him, put him on house arrest. Okay, so I saw that. That's what I mm-hmm. saw. Yes. And then Nikki got online and said, made a post or something saying that she figured one of their camps snitched on him. You snitched on yourself by posting that shit yes. online. Yes. Dumb, right? And I just think that that's weird, you know. But but that's her man. She gonna back him one hundred percent. But she's backing a rapist. That's my man, and I'm sticking my. And I just think ever since she's been with him, it's kind of tainted her image a little bit. The bar, the barbs are gonna love her and roll with her with, with no matter what. But that just showed that they're like Republicans. No matter what. And them bitches so fucked up. They go, okay. her husband can rape they mama and they going to die. I love yes. Nikki. Fuck my mama. Yeah, like, they're like Trump real. supporters. You know what I mean? They're really yeah. they like Trump supporters. Exactly. Mm. And th- what she was doing was <laughs> the other day she posted a video with about 50 dudes in the studio. It wasn't quite 50. Well. But maybe 25. 25. 15. 15 max. Some of them look like they're tilted. 15 grown ass. Some of them niggas look like they're tilted. That wasn't at work. Hot. Right? Mm-hmm. Did yeah. you see some they of them? They all gonna tell it if you get hot. Yeah. Some of them dudes look like they'll snitch if say she got too high for them. You know what I'm saying? So you need what she said was said make that face. There's a difference <laughs> between making calls 
<laughs> and calling shots. <laughs> You be walking around saying that shit. Is it funny? <laughs> she just did it twice. <laughs> I know they finna come for me, but I'm sorry. Y'all know that was lame. That was a bomb ass move, though. But we can get off that subject. Yeah. So, <laughs> answer your question, baby. I don't even remember the question. No, man. you every day you question about the uh, favorite. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you have a lot of music, I know. Mm-hmm. Of your music, what's your three favorite songs? And your top why? three. And why? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm, don't do that. You got them three favorite kids and let us know. Mm-mm. To see my songs like my kids. You don't have no favorites. You, you got to pick all one. You got to pick Everybody three. that came through here tried that. You got to pick three. Come on. But don't compare it to no kids. Well, don't do that. But you know how it is when you write them. Uh, you, you feel your you favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is. Uh, They're your babies. So, blessings. Mm-hmm. That's that Kirk Franklin sample. Okay. The, the the video I shot at my brother's funeral. Yes. Uh, say please. That's produced by Mouse. House on the track. Yeah. That'll make you bounce in the head. Mm. Um and. Hmm. I have to say that bitch. That bitch. D A T bitch. Hey. Been that bitch gonna be that bitch. And they know it. I don't like to talk about what I'm about. I just like to show it. Y'all hey. be taking my kindness for weakness. All of my page tell me what you trying to see, bitch. They be trying to stop me from winning. They ain't really got no defense. So mm, mm. I'm just going and still get my points the way I smoke these hoes. I should call these hoes joints because I'm blunder than them. Like, I ain't got no legs. I ain't running from them. This box right here turn boys into men. Have them singing for us, mama. Boys to men. Make hoes sick like I poison them. Then I shit on these hoes. Need a poise to pin. I could give two fucks about a nigga. <laughs> if I can't depend on him to go get a bag, you a scrub. If you sitting on your ass, I'm a real boss, bitch. With a lot of class, used to have a lot of stomach till I went and got that ass. Hey! Period. Hey. Hey. You know you. what? I heard you say that. Did you really do that? Yeah, I did. Who got their body done? And that was a whole fucking situation. I remember that time. Harriet. You ain't got you a BBL. Did you go to Dr. Miami? Mm mm. Uh, how did that make you feel? Better? Yeah, because just all my life, I've never had no A. All you know? my life, I had to fight. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> And it's just like people like, oh well, you is fine. You don't need to go get see you on it. You don't need to tell me what the fuck yes. going on in my life, mm-hmm, bitch. Mm-hmm. That's real. If I want me some ass, I'm going to give me some ass. So people's whole perception of me going get a BBL was getting some ass. Oh no, getting, you getting. you okay? Thank you. <laughs> you not you not like your stomach not all gone and you know you know what so I'm saying. Fuck that. I didn't do it for no I know fuckers. I got a stomach. I'm trying to get an ass. I'm trying to get an ass. <laughs> hey. Period. You feel me? Makes sense to me. So it's just a lot of people, they they feel like, because, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's there be people problem, like, with surgery. They feel like, mm-hmm. okay, well, this person will got a BBL, they look like this. So if this person get a BBL, they should look like this or mm-hmm. something wrong. Like, mm-hmm. no, bitch. Yeah. That's what you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And she, I done had this ass for so long now, like, when dudes, you know what I'm saying, be complimenting the ass and shit, I just, I forgot I went and got this bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. That's your ass. <laughs> they, they be like big booty, and I be like, oh, I had a BBA. I ain't even tell I you. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you think it's still small. I forgot. I and people be like, well, what it feel like after, like, it feel like my regular ass. It don't feel like it's bigger. It just, it nothing feels different. Well, you didn't go astronomical with it. You didn't go Nicki Minaj with it. Oh. Make sure y'all come for him tonight. Don't be coming don't for me. Damn, they can come Leave for me in the comments. comments. Well, you know, they be coming for me to barb. Stay fool. They do. That's okay, because I'm part of the swarm. Yeah. Thank you. Still behind. Yeah, I don't want none. <laughs> Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I saw that part of your journey that you ain't got a BBL. And I thought you was lying. You go, girl. Mm-mm. Wouldn't lie one bit. Hey. Do you. Boom. Yeah, because hey. I, I want some augmentation, but 
No. What for your titties? Mm-hmm. I don't see. I ain't too big. I don't care about no titties. They gonna say. Here's the thing. I don't want them bigger or nothing. I don't want, want nothing perky. added. Yeah, I just and want that's them. the thing. I, my titties. I could care less about my titties. <laughs> it's just that I didn't have no ass. Like I'm editing that shit out. I, I just <laughs> what about your titties? Why? I just want them up and together. What's wrong with that? Yeah. See, I wouldn't even give a fuck about that. I I just I just want my ass to. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you. You heard what you said. Say that again. You wouldn't give a what? I wouldn't give a fuck. And niggas don't give a fuck. And that's her. Niggas don't. And, give and a fuck. I, and let but, me tell but you. But we this. just said it ain't about it. what let you. Let me tell you this. I'm your man. Come on, girl. I'm your husband. Before I got a BBL, I had so many niggas. That part. But I don't know if it's because I raised my standards when I got a BBL that I wasn't entertaining the same type of niggas <laughs> or what. But I used to have lines of them when I ain't had no ass. When I was bad built like yes. a motherfucker, mm. they was on me. See, couldn't get them off me. Mm. You intimidating them with that now ass. Now you intimidating. Man, I got that BBL. They say look for now me. Now you intimidating. They mm. like see look her. She That's got that flat ass. She gonna be glad to have a man. Oh yeah, like they think me. you got attitude. That's what it is. Some niggas can see a booty and be like, damn, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh, my dick ain't big oh, enough. Mm, that part. My dick ain't big enough to get past the cheeks. ain't gonna be nowhere but betwixt them cheeks. Yeah. My dick ain't big enough. <laughs> I just, I might well not even shoot it up. Well, you know what I mean? Looking like you scooting up a chair. Yeah. <laughs> you barely hit like what? You like what? that, huh? Bitch like what? <laughs> you barely tapping. You know what I'm talking about? Is you in? <laughs> <laughs> Aggravated. When you got the ass there, then boy. nah. Yeah, oh, you like that, huh? Yeah. Bitch, if I ain't giving you no sign, man, I like it. Don't yeah. ask me no dumb ass shit like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. You know. Do you feel it? Ah, <laughs> that, that, that one. I'm going to put it in your bag. Bitch, we. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we. Uh, we. That part. I'm I heard there's a lot of niggas with some little bitch dick. They, it, it, and this the thing. They have not minute. all, not all little dicks is bad. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. some men have, you know what I'm saying? Not no big dick, and they know what to do with it. Yeah. Some people got big fucking horse dicks and will piss don't you off. Know. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> do not come to me with no big ass horse dick, and then they be trying to be all rough. Like, bitch, calm down. We know okay. you have this big arm right here, bitch. You don't got to do <laughs> all the that. Arm. The fucking. Hmm. Well, I think it's a porno movie every time, and and yeah, it, like, it don't be giving it. It's not mm. giving. It's not giving. It's Mm-mm. giving amateur night <laughs> at the Apollo. Do you like Grace Sweat? <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> on the no. right person. <laughs> no, I don't care about. Cause first I mean, of the, all, you look like you're lying, right? <laughs> yeah, no, look at her. Look the, at her turning already. No, no, cause honestly, honestly, Grace Sweat. You look no. like you're lying, right? Cause now. honestly, that pissed me off. Cause why is you walking around with your dick showing and like yeah. out? Yo, dick should not be showing in them. I don't give a fuck how great y'all ass be showing. The real ones can't help it. It's girls walking around with half the titties out now. You know it. If it's good enough for y'all, it's good enough for them. The titties and dick is two different things. What bitch walk around with half her pussy lip? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of them now. You know, Come on, this is the time walking around in. with them lips hanging, right. swinging and in the breeze. You right, but get what? me. <laughs> and then like I'm weird because that gobbler. You see that lip hanging? Because this the thing, like. A lot of people see me and they they get that like I'm gay. Like I I I cannot. I promise you. They ain't I, been following your journey then. <laughs> no, they think you gay. They think I'm gay. Why? They think I'm a bulldogger. Oh, oh no. I ain't heard that in a long. No, they <laughs> do. You one. know what I'm saying? And I be I be offended because first of all, they got too many di- different types of pussy out here. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like. One with flaps and folds and all that, you know mm, what I'm saying? And, yeah, and I I cannot see myself <laughs> put my mouth on no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? What's that thing that's on the turkey? Some of them look like that. Yeah, that's what they money. got. <laughs> turkey pussies. That's how they look be looking. That shit that be on the turkey. That's how they pussy be looking. For real, like, why are they all together? That shit be looking mangled. For real, <laughs> you got the nigga be like. <laughs> this is like six compartments for your hole. What if is all this? Yeah. Gotta go like this to find it. <laughs> you gotta go. You oh, there go. Oh, bitch, that ain't your clip. That's another piece of your lip. <laughs> what? Mm, that's uh, exactly. <laughs> okay, man, look up. <laughs> it's not starting for me. <laughs> Mm-mm. You lost me saying mangled. That's why. It do be chewed up, chewed mangled. up and spit out. It do. Shoot. Maybe you never, maybe you haven't experienced that. Hey. Keep living. <laughs> and you have. 
I'm 55 years old. Don't you. nobody need to hear that. I just said, have I seen it in No, you room? just said you haven't experienced it. Well, I did well, leave me out of it. I said maybe he had an experience. <laughs> you you put yourself I in. I did not say maybe he had an You put experience. yourself in. I did. Did I put myself in? You did. You kind of did. No, I didn't. Every time, then there, there it go again. You kind of there it go again. I'm not putting myself in. Man, about you all time. Okay. <laughs> like you tell me. <laughs> okay, well, I can't I tell. I did not say mm -hmm. him. Okay. <gasps> Moving right along. Your wife yeah. say, when did you have a flipping pussy? <laughs> That part that he wants to share and tell everybody about. I did. I, I did. appreciate it. I didn't. <laughs> okay. I didn't. Man, bro, y'all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> she said, hmm. <laughs> we gonna talk about this later. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till we get home. Look at that ass. You car. laughing? You better. You better <laughs> wait to till the car. <laughs> Look at that ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Not too much for TV. Yeah, no, we like. We love it like this. <laughs> this is how we do. Y'all is fun night. This okay. is how we do. So, do you have some shout outs? Wait, you just you got any shows or anything coming up? No. No? Okay. Mm -mm. Well, no. make sure you let us know when you do. No, I will. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get well acquainted with the, you know what I'm saying, the people of the DFW. Yes. That part. And tell everybody your socials so they can follow you again. I am Titanic. I-A-M-T-Y-T-A-N-I-C underscore underscore. Who's that picture on your profile? My mama. I told I somebody to so. follow me on Instagram. They was like, who is this little white boy? I'm like, that's my mama. They was like, I that ain't your mama. Here. That's a little white boy. I'm like, bitch, that's my fucking mama. Oh, wow. I figured that was somebody in okay. your family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about a little white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, bitch. I know that's right. He was like, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I, I really ain't take no offense to it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she do like little alfalfa on that bitch. <laughs> but you do find, let me tell you something about you. You find a bright light in a lot of tragedies. Yeah. I saw you kiss your brother. Yeah. And you, you said, Damn, what bitch, is that? what is that greasy shit on your motherfucking face? Because, <laughs> bitch, what is that? Uh-uh. I was like, look at all her. For real, I was trying to be crazy. crazy. <laughs> I'm like, hold up, bitch. Them people rub car back on you. What the fuck is this? And it was the dancing for me. Go back to dancing. Yeah, you started dancing yeah. <laughs> by I'm the a, casket. I'm a jig for my nigga. Yeah, yeah. because that's how we were. That's real. You man. know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, because even like being there doing my brother half for his funeral, rapping at his funeral, I just, for some reason, I just. I don't feel like he dead. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? Like he with you, cause it's unbelievable. Like yeah. I call him like, and Especially people didn't understand our relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because I call him, what up, bitch? He what up, ho? I'm what up, ho? What up, bitch? You know what I'm saying? And people like, you talk, you to, talk to your brother? sister like that? You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. they acting him, and I'm like, that's my motherfucking dog. Yeah, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? I talk to my homeboys like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause when I say bitch and hoe, like until I'm getting on your ass with it, mm -hmm, then you don't need to take mm -hmm, no offense mm -hmm, to it. Cause mm -hmm, that's just mm -hmm. how I talk. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So like, it's just crazy. Cause like I say, every day, every other day, what up, bitch? What up, bitch? What you got going? What you doing? You ain't cooking nothing today. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, just every day, and just him out of all people in the world got killed. How did he get? Do you want to talk about that? Nah, I talk about whatever. How did? Cause we didn't talk about how he passed. So. He was finna leave the warehouse. He was moving his car. He had a scat pack, you hear me? Yes. He was moving his car out of the little thing to put the van back so he could go ahead and leave. So one of the dudes that used to work up there at the warehouse, his girl who used to work at the warehouse, brought him up there. Excuse me. So they say that they was waiting out there about 30 minutes for my brother pulled up. So mind you, my brother, he didn't drive that car to the warehouse every day. He would drive a little bucket, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So... I feel like it was a, oh, well, he driving the car today, you know what I'm saying, type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. dude, they say, because it wasn't no beef or nothing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude yeah. walked up on my brother. They had a little conversation or whatever, and my brother walked off and proceeded to try to move the car. So, they say, dude, walk back on him, and they say my brother just was beating the fuck out of him, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, I don't know if dude was like, shit, I'm finna take this bitch from you, or whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? And I'm still fucked up with it because I want to know what the fuck happened. Like, me yes. and my brother was, like, one, you know what I'm saying? Anything he went through, I knew about. Anything I went through, he knew about, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, like, I kept, like, so 
They say my brother was beating the fuck out of him. And they say, dude, reached in his jacket pocket and shot him one time in his leg. You know what I'm saying? He bled out and severed his main artery. So he walked Damn. across the street to the warehouse. And they was like, he was talking and everything. They thought he was going to live. But they say on the way to the hospital that he lost too much blood and he passed away. Wow. Yeah, from one shot to the leg. One and shot. like, when they called me, because the dude, it's a whole bunch of Oh shit, I don't get it. So the dude who killed my brother, his old lady worked up there, her mama worked up there, and her brother was one of my brother's drivers. Mm. Her brother called me and was like, because my nerves was just so bad that day, because I was like, I'm not letting nothing get to me. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm fuck all it. So my nerves just bad. And I'm not understanding why, because I hadn't been letting nothing get to me. Like I'm just uneasy as a motherfucker. Yeah. So I called my brother for every little thing. So I was calling to tell him that my little baby had pissed me off or whatever. I'm finna call him like, let me tell you what your nephew did. So the phone rung, he ain't answer. I'm like, what the fuck? So dude called me on Instagram. He like, yeah, um, where your brother at? You need to check on your brother. Your brother just got shot. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Who is you talking about? I'm thinking it's somebody in Baton Rouge because I got homeboys who I call my brother. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Who is my brother? Yes. He was like, Lyron, he just got shot out the warehouse. You need to see where he at. You need to make sure he's straight. I'm like, stop fucking playing with me. He like, nah, for real. So I hung up and I instantly called my brother old lady. I'm like, what's up? She like, yeah, it's true. I'm like, what the fuck is true? What are you talking about? Like, what, what the fuck is going on? Mm. She was like, well, I'm on my way to the hospital. They say he just got shot in the leg, so I'll call you when I get there. So, mind you, I'm fucked up with it. I'm I'm 500 miles away. They just told me that my brother got shot. Like, that's nothing I ever expected to hear in my motherfucking life, that him mm -hmm. out of all people, because I'm talking about just such a cool, calm, genuine nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He could be sitting here right now. You wouldn't even know he right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he just was... He was just one of a kind. You know what I'm saying? And in the back of my head, I'm like, man, my brother dead. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I didn't, I, I couldn't, when it was like a leg shot, I just still didn't feel like he was all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I told his old lady, I'm like, whenever you get there, you know what I'm saying? Once once you tell me he all right, I'm going to be all right. But until then, I'm fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at the doctor. I have to bring my baby to the doctor. He had an appointment. So I'm sitting there. She called my phone back. She said, yeah. He ain't make it. I'm sorry. I'm like, what the fuck is you talking about, bitch? Mm. Bitch, what are you talking about? And you knew it was just a leg shot at that time? Yeah. Mm. Oh, he didn't make it. Bitch, now you confusing me. He didn't make it to the hospital yet? You there before right, him? What are right. you talking about, bitch? Right. Yes. Be specific. He's gone. Mm. Mm. Bitch, who gone? Mm. You got mm. me mm. fucked up. I lost my shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just remember that day because it was like, it's crazy. Like, when my brother died, I was really by myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't think about what my baby was. My baby was by uh, Nat, who raised me, my daddy. He mm -hmm. was by his house. And I was at my house, and I was like, I just kept walking around. I'm like, God, please help me. Because I, mm -hmm. I just did not understand. I had to call my doctor. She had to come drive and meet me with some sleeping pills. Like, I'm fucked up. Like, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm just riding and I'm thinking about him, I'm like, it's unreal. What the it's fuck? Always, yeah. When it's unexpected, it's like, oof, the worst. And don't get me wrong, I didn't lose people mm -hmm. unexpectedly my whole life. Yeah, it was close to you. But to lose him, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? This the fucking yin to my yang. This the, he know everything, I know everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is like my fucking, like, think of. Think of somebody aside from your parents, you know what I'm saying, that you just love. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, y'all really understand know. each other. Just imagine somebody calling you like, oh, yeah, they, they just got shot. And then imagine mm -hmm. somebody calling you later like, oh, yeah, they ain't make it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's unimaginable. What the fuck are you talking about? And I'm just like, damn, I, I want to I wanna talk to my brother. I want to hear what the fuck happened. I want him to tell me because I could hear him now. Yeah, that old bitch ass nigga thought he was going to take my car. He shot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can just hear him. You know what I'm saying? And one day I was riding home, you heard me? And all I heard like was his voice. He was like, Tyranisha, why that bitch ass nigga shot me? Mm. 
Mm. That bitch ass nigga shot me one time in the leg and I died, bitch. Like I heard, like it wasn't mm. no, oh, this a thought. It was like I'm driving and I hear this man talking like he on a fucking loudspeaker. You hear me? Yeah. Like it was crazy. Mm. Is the gentleman? Is the guy in jail? No, he's still on the run. Mm. He's still on the run. This happened February 16th. I'm calling the detectives. Oh, yeah, we got the, the Fugitive Task Force looking for him, such and such. A what? fucking clucker is not that hard to find. This is not nobody that got no money that's well put up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why haven't y'all got this bitch? Because having no nobody turned to me. They not. They not putting they, no effort. Yeah. And I feel like they know what he is because the, the detective, work. he was just saying all kind of bullshit at the beginning of the case. Oh, well, we've been in contact with the suspect. What the fuck you mean you've been in contact with him? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what are you talking about? Like, none of it makes no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. none of it makes no sense. Like, at all. And it's not like, okay, this man got killed. We don't know who killed him. We got to find out who killed him first. Then we're going to find out. You, you know, know this man. Mm -hmm. You know who the fuck killed him. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's hard to swallow. Yeah. And nah. like I say, like I tell people, like, I'm so forgiving. I'm not, I don't have no hatred in my heart towards that boy that killed my brother. I don't. I forgive him. That's 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 big, that's of, big you. of you. I forgive him. You know why I forgive him? Because what people fail to realize is how God assigned things to people like the devil do too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's do. up to you to pick which assignment you want to take. The devil going to give you an easy assignment. You hear me? <laughs> Go mm -hmm. out here and live your life like this. I'm not yeah. worried about that. Yeah, and real. just think about it. People, a lot of people, like, it's people that I talk to that's like, oh, well, how you believe in God and such and such and all that? Like, they got people literally getting raped and all that. Like, yeah, they do, but you think God's saying, oh, yeah, yeah go yeah, rape go, that. Go get that one. Yeah, yeah like, no. Just like just like <laughs> the devil, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The devil is, he 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 he, he using mm -hmm. people just like God used I people. I say you know the devil got blessings, too. Yeah. Depending on what and side think about it. Mm -hmm. The most fucked up people, what, what fucked up shit do you see them going through? The, I'm talking about Nothing. the most evil fucked up people that do Nothing. the most we all know people that's fucked up what yes. do you see them go through Nothing. that's bad Nothing. but the with most murder. the most genuine Always. like purest souls go mm -hmm. through the worst mm -hmm. and, and that's why I say like mm -mm. and people be like well you still like First of all, I put my faith in man and I believe in man all the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what is it gonna give for me to say I believe in God? You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a I'm a yes, I'm a sinner, but I'm a I'm a I'm a make sure that I try to do right by him at all times because I'm trying to go over here. I'm you know what I'm saying? Right. So when it's all done, they might not have nothing over here. But if they do have it over there and I've been doing what I'm supposed to do. Then I'm guaranteed to get I out of here. I always say that I'd rather live like he, he is one and find out it's not than live you know what like I'm saying? it's not because one and find out it is. Then you be he, like, ugh. Yeah, then when he come down here <laughs> and, and, and send a rap shit, bitch, you ain't, you ain't going nowhere. I was at the strip club. You gonna see like a fool. Oh, you had fun. Looking at flappy pussy. These little tips. See, people think life is long. People think, people think life is promised. What people fail to realize is, to and people like when I get to talking like that, people like people for the longest used to try to make me feel like my mama was crazy because she she used to she used to talk that shit. I'm talking about shit to where like when I was young, I used to like when people would make it seem like my mama crazy, I would think that she crazy. But looking back now from the state of mind I'm in, that lady wasn't crazy. She was speaking everything, the real. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. When you speak that real shit, a motherfucker will make it seem like you crazy because they don't. Oh, really we accept see the that truth. all the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. See it all so, the time. So nah, and in the mainstream, yeah, and people they 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 like, oh well, um, you know what I'm saying? People just very funny to me. You know what I'm saying? Like weird. It, they very. You know what I'm saying? When I talk about death, like shit, you gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Everybody watching this gonna die. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you don't know when. No one and I tomorrow. never understood life, and I never felt I understood my purpose. I never understood none of that until my brother got killed. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. it's like, God know I needed my brother. God know my brother was there for me every step of the way. But God, like, he not here no more. So what you finna do? Mm. Who you finna go to? Yeah, Who you finna call? Him. You gonna call, call on God. You ain't got no choice. The only person yes. that you used to call... Mm -hmm. It's gone. He with yes. me. So what you finna do? Mm -hmm. How you yeah. finna do it? God, can you you're gonna make it, phone? but you're gonna call God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yes. And once you have a relationship with God, that's why people like, oh, well, you ain't blow yet and woo the woo. And like, I don't 
care about none of that because mm-hmm. what's for me, that, that that's part. just like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you could yeah. go to Burger King and get you a burger, and it's gonna be to you right then. It might, you know what I'm saying, satisfy your hunger, but that ain't the best burger you done ate. The best right. burger you done ate took a little time to make. You ain't pull up yes. to no drive through and get that motherfucker. The best burger I ate so was, was a trill burger. You heard me? So, Bun B. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, when God got something for you, why would you want something that's rushed? You know what I'm saying? Yes. People like, oh, I don't feel no type of way that I ain't make it to where people think I should be at right now. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Because when I get there, yeah. mm-hmm. it's the point of no return. And yeah. I, when I tell people this, people laugh. But it's not no comparison. Mm-hmm. But when I tell people this, like, I'm going to be bigger than Beyonce. Ooh, that's how you got to do it. Put it out there in the universe, sis. I'm going to be bigger than Beyonce. You supposed mm-hmm. to say that. And you will be. You know what I mean? You just got to keep fighting. Stay resilient. And keep doing your thing. You got so much talent, though. You know what I mean? God didn't give you all this talent and take you through all this. I I, I refuse to believe he gave you all this talent, took you through everything you went through, not to show you the reward at the end. And then it's the thing. What I had to realize, just like the stories in the Bible of, you know what I'm saying? Like the story of Job. You know what I'm saying? God uses people that he know is going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, God know me. He know I mm-hmm. talk that shit that on my part. Instagram. He know that people are drawn to me. Yep. So, I'm finna let you go through this. You mm-hmm. finna think that I don't care about you. Mm-hmm. You finna think I don't love you. But I'm right here but holding you. You know what I'm saying? Like my you. like my baby. When we in the pool. No, I don't. Don't let me go. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Mm-hmm. If I tell you I'm got, I got you and yes. I'm right here with you, don't ever doubt that I'm going to sit here. I might let you go under that water for a second just right. to see what it feel yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But I'll never let you drown. That's real. I'll never let you drown. That's wrong. I never let That's you real. drown. That's wrong. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So, yeah, you going through this to where you can see. Oh no, I got to I got to approach this better so I don't be like this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to do this, I got to do that. But he right there. That's when you real. when you too far under, every Snatch time you right back up. every time well, I you try think to tell ain't no people hope? That, and I try to tell people that that's why I just yeah. people that's non believers, I'm just like, Oh my God. Because I can't explain to you why I, I believe I got my own experiences. Like, you gonna I have can't. to have your own. Cause if I try to explain yeah. it to you, you gonna, you ain't you gonna gonna believe me. You're not. And you're gonna look at me stupid like, what are you talking right. about? This so that's a reason right. to believe? Yes. No, right. but and that's a, a another thing. People haven't been through enough in their life to fully believe in God. You well, know what I'm saying? Some of them have. But and they and they take the things they go through and look at it in the opposite way. Like, but oh, I don't feel like I don't feel like me. I don't feel like it, it. It was them type of things. You know what You're I'm saying? Yes. Mm. Nah, cause I ain't gonna lie. Even when my brother first got killed, I had to catch myself. I was like, cause I posted on my snap. I was like, God don't love me. Why would he do that to me? You snapped that. You took that. I had day. to. Man, what? Yo, and man, I still ask God quick. for forgiveness right now. God, please don't take that into consideration. Yeah. What I nah, said. They just like somebody. I was hurt. Did, yes. Now I'm not laughing, Lord, but this was funny. <laughs> On Instagram, <laughs> somebody had posted. I'm just going through it right now. I'm having such a hard time. And someone said, "Pray about it." And he was like, "Man, that nigga see what I'm going through." <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. That's <laughs> how I be. Like for real. <laughs> that is. I had to laugh at that. And then you gotta be so straightforward with God. Like people yeah. feel like you gotta be like, oh, "Our heavenly no, Father, baby. please." You gotta be I like, "Man, look, look, God, I'm I'm sick of this shit, God. Yes. Excuse me from cursing, you but God, it. it's fuck." up out here That's man real. Dude, please dude. help me lord Talk to him in your voice. you know my heart you yeah. know me you know yeah. what i'm saying you you know how many strings of hair i got on my head baby i had yeah. one you know number. Number. angry conversation with god sure have. i didn't Ooh. even think about that until hmm. probably the last 10 years i didn't even excuse me, not think about it i didn't even know about that until about 10 years ago yeah because i was steady praying like you said Dear Heavenly Father God. Dear Heavenly Father, <laughs> please be with me. Somebody no, say, I'll somebody say, oh, no. Talk to God Father like you God talk. Father God of the greatest of all. Oh, yeah. All Father with y'all can never know. Yeah, no. Nah. I to be thy name. No, no yeah. Lord. I would be like God, that. I'm out here struggling. Yeah. Okay. You see me struggling. I know that you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you just, said if I had faith, you going to fill my cup now. Lord, <laughs> have faith that we must have seen them. You know I'm this close to cussing yeah. out, Lord. Please. And that's another thing. Only we don't be having be faith. We be saying we have faith. We don't have no faith. Because if you got faith, why are you worrying about this? Hmm, that part. If be you anxious faith, for nothing. No, 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 no. You just got to have a little bit of faith of a mustard seed. Be anxious for no, nothing. No, you do. But if you think about it. Well, you know what? It takes time to get to that point. It do. It do. Because I'm not fully there. But when you yeah. think about it, you know what I'm yes. saying? 
why would you give something to somebody? You know what I'm saying? I'm giving this to you. I'm entrusting that you gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you got doubts. When you have doubts, that that leave room for whatever in your mind. But you know, you know what I'm but it takes time to get there. That's why I said the no, faith it of and a must And that's why I say I'm yeah. not fully there. Because I still yeah. worry about yeah. shit. Every motherfucking yeah. day. And you can't help it. And eventually you'll get to where it's just like I know God got this. He comes through every time. He come through every time. Be like, Lord, I don't know why you playing these games. Yeah. <laughs> You that's know right. you're going to come through in the clutch. Yeah. So I ain't going to trip. <laughs> and that's how I you know mean? <laughs> Every time I get the trip and he like, okay, get out of my face. Yeah. That's real. Take this blessing. Yeah. Man, I have enjoyed this interview. We that's got to have you come back then. Hey, oh, yeah. Because yeah. we could talk to you like, it's like a natural, ain't it? Can you enjoy For yourself? Sure. Yeah. Huh? yeah I that man on that phone. Go follow me there. on Instagram while you on yeah, that phone over real. there. Yeah, For real. I am. Thank you. Titanic yeah. underscore yes. underscore T Y. Okay. T A N I C. You see yeah. me? Yeah. yeah, girl, we see you. <laughs> How many people you got? Hey, way better than Titanic. Hey, super tight. Let me tell you, I'm going to take all Titanic fans. Shout Y'all need to subscribe. Tight. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Super tight TV on YouTube. Right, God dang on me now. God dang on me. That's country. <laughs> That's you Texas for your that boy. Texas, right? God, that, what's that again, man? Dang on me now. That's real. Yeah. I mean, we sure appreciate you coming. Absolutely. Can she give us shout outs now? Yeah. Okay. You guys some shout outs. Shout out to God. That's real. You hear me? And shout out to all my true supporters. I'm not going to sit here and call no names because I probably forget some names. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got some supporters. I don't even know their motherfucking names. That's, That's real. You can't. You, shout out to y'all. That's yeah, real. all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Is- and shout out to Super Tight TV for reaching out and having me come to their platform. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yes. Shout out to shout out to shout out to everybody, man. For real. Like everybody in this world. If you're watching this and you're going through something right now, shout out to you. That's Just for right. even being able to watch this while you're going through. You know what I'm saying? This is a strong interview. And no, you're not alone. Okay, you're not. Yes. Um, I had one of my followers. She like, I just want to give up. I said, she was like, mm-hmm. but I be watching you. I say, so the day mm-hmm. you see me give up. You could give up. Hmm. But until then... People watching you. That yeah. part. There's so many people. You didn't save my life, Tati. Mm. Your music. Like, I wanted to kill myself, and I didn't. Mm. That's real. Thinking about you. That's your and purpose, that right there. You're yeah. affecting people Amen. like that. That's your calling. Just keep keep being, like I said, keep being resilient and keep pushing. Keep on pushing. I say it, man. Um, I love the fact that you came through and blessed us. And like wife, you said, you got to come back. Yeah, because you 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 got a a story to tell, even just to you know sit up and just you know talk about current yeah. events or whatever's going on in your life. Yeah, we got to go. You know what I'm talking about? And we got to have you. We love to have you back. But I got the family member. Hey, should I call her? That's my, you. You'll be my niece. Period. Uh-huh. My niece. I'll be yeah, yeah, everybody, okay, everybody start calling me unk. You know what I'm talking about? Uncle T. Yeah. <laughs> I got my niece Titanic in the house. Yeah. A real super, super tight, tight guest. guest. It's your girl Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah. I get the low love from Big Bobo. From the front seat, not no photos.